Justine, I am going to be tackling almost my whole house today and I do change a lot because it just depends on the time of day and what day because I don't normally film all in one day. My whole channel is about realistic cleaning with a busy schedule and that's what I really wanted to emanate in this video today. This is my mom life cleaning motivation video and this is how I maintain my home with going to college, working full-time, my husband's military, and having three children and two dogs. I know, it's a crazy household. <laughs> and those of you who have multiple children understand that. But I wanted to start by cleaning my ceiling fan in my bedroom because I saw how nasty it was. And I just saw this pillow case hack and it kind of helped because I did not want it to fall onto my bed because my bed is right below the ceiling fan and I just felt like that was gross. So the pillowcase hack worked really well. I was actually truly amazed at how well it did at capturing and then I just threw it in the wash and it became clean again. So that is always a good idea if you can get a ladder or anything. If you need one of those long poles, you can also get one of those from like Lowe's or Home Depot to dust. If you have the really big vaulted ceilings or you just have knee or back problems and can't climb a ladder those are great options as well but the pillowcase is definitely a good tip if you are looking for a way to dust your ceiling fans that won't leave a mess i hope that if you are new here today that you will hit bit that big red subscribe button my channel is all about like i said cleaning on a realistic schedule with a realistic expectation and i appreciate you guys so much for continuing to watch my channel and make sure you do hit that alert bell and set it to all because I do upload one to two times a week and sometimes I change my days. So just make sure that alert bell is on and let's jump into this video. I wanted to get these towels folded and then I have to switch the washer to the dryer. I normally try to do one to two loads of laundry a day. If you work outside the home, fortunately enough, I work from home full time. But if you work outside the home, you can always throw in the load in the morning into the washer. I do not suggest throwing anything in the dryer when you are not home just because of fire reasons. I feel like that's kind of risky for myself. Some people don't mind, but I do. And especially with pets, you don't want the house to catch on fire. It just makes me sad. Anyway, take your stuff, throw it in the washer before you go to work in the morning. And then when you get home from work in the evening, throw it right into the dryer. And then at bedtime when your kids are sleeping, go ahead and fold that laundry and put it away. And no one is perfect. So if you get behind one or two days and you have to fold two loads of laundry together, enlist your kids to help or your husbands or your mother, like, or the mothers, if you're the stay at home father, whichever one you want to say, make sure that you enlist their help. If you get behind on laundry, it just goes so much quicker. And if your kids are older, set them up to do their own laundry. It just helps you out so much and helps you maintain your home more instead of you trying to do everything yourself. But that is my biggest suggestion. Try to do one to two loads of laundry a day if you can. hopping into the kitchen to get that picked up. That is one of my biggest pet peeves is when I can't see my countertops. I don't know if anyone else is like that, especially if you have a kitchen island. Is it like your catch all? Because mine is everything misses the dining table and goes right to my kitchen table or my kitchen island. And I do not know why, 
but it's just a favorite spot to get cluttered. <laughs> but I wanted to unload the dishwasher because I try to have an empty dishwasher so my sink doesn't get full of dirty dishes. However, this is my bonus daughter's job. This is one of her chores she has to do every day. She unloads it, she reloads it, but it just depends on how backed up we get on the dishes if we have guests coming. So I'm actually gonna jump in and do this for her because she's still at school at this time. And I really just wanted to get it done and out of the way because the sink was filling up and I needed to clean the fridge crisper drawer because it was just so full of the juices from fruit and veggies. It just really needed clean. It was just so gross. <music> looking for ways to save money you can also just buy the dawn power wash it's amazing for many different areas and surfaces but it's great for cleaning the kitchen sink i feel like it just does just as good as a job as the barkeeper's friends or even the, the miss myers vinegar cream cleanser i love both of them however i do like the mrs myers one better than the barkeeper's friend for smell purposes but they do great but like I said if you're looking for a one purpose item that cleans different surfaces the Dawn power wash is the way to go Together. Why don't we just get a place together? 
much better Balconies and bathtubs What you want Why don't we just get a place together steel as well as my countertops and some of my cabinets because they get really dirty really fast because of my children. I love them. This is Myers Fall Scents. I did a grow collaborative order two videos ago for my fall decorate and clean with me parts two series. They're the last two of my videos. So if you haven't checked them out, go check them out. They're worth seeing and I'll just give you all the fall decor in that one but I'm going to use that spray with my microfiber towel to clean the cabinets and the counters and then I'm also going to use this new pure scents cleaner that I got in that Grove collaborative order and use it for the first time and see how it goes and I also used my e-cloth stainless steel microfiber cloth set and I love this I use it all the time by itself with just some water they are so cheap and easy if you are a busy mama or father on the go the e-cloth stainless steel cloth set is just amazing you just use water and it's really quick and easy to use and I'll leave it at that but we're going to try this new product and see how it goes <music> I don't know if I was just dumb when I did this, but I would not suggest using this on your stove top. Yes, it got clean with my e-cloth and microfiber towel set. However, I just don't suggest it. Use your kitchen jaws cleaner. If you've bought in those products, I've used them in a ton of videos. It's a degreaser and it works wonderful on the tops, but also uh, either Mrs. Meyers vinegar cream cleanser or even Bonami powder. It's cheap. It's $2 from Target and they both work amazingly to clean your stove tops. I just don't suggest using this one because I feel like it leaves a little bit of a film because it's supposed to be buffed into the stainless steel. And again, my brain that day was fried from working. So just don't mind me at this point. <laughs> I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break in your sweet You're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want so keep Just know I am never cleaning something that's already clean I don't have the time for that in my house I clean things that get really dirty all the time so my cabinets are one of those things they are white so you can't see it on camera but there is normally huggy spilt down these popsicles that turn into liquid that drip down these there's dog hair that collects on the lip of the cabinets there's just everything you can imagine because my kids touch their snotty faces and then touch my cabinets <laughs> and I'm sure most parents can understand this like you may not see it but I'll tell you what these cabinets get so gross my kids just don't know how to clean or something I don't know but it is just terrible I honestly go through cleaning my cabinets almost every day because of how bad my kids are with touching things just know that this was not clean in any way <laughs> Worth 
That stainless steel cleaner actually worked really well. However, I would suggest buffing it in. Don't use the e-cloth stainless steel wipe because I feel like it just kind of spread it instead of buffing it in. So definitely use a damp microfiber towel with a soft surface because it will buff in so much easier. And then I just liked using my polishing rag over it. It's just how I am. And it worked really well. I mean, I don't like the extra step. That's why I have the e-cloth set, but it does work and it's worked really nice. And I think it got some of the water stains off my fridge in the end. So that's good too. We are going to jump upstairs now and clean my two boys rooms because they don't really clean their rooms themselves yet, but my bonus daughter does. That's why I barely film in her room, but I wanted to get all of the toys picked up, give them a good vacuum, get the bonus room picked up because my parents are coming to visit here for Labor Day weekend. I know it's past now, but that's just how I film. I film at least a week or two in advance. So it just depends on what I'm doing in that video, but we are just going to get into cleaning up these two boys rooms. A tip for maintaining your home is actually to declutter the toys when your kids are not home. I did a decluttering series a few videos back and I decluttered my whole house over a few part series. However, it is now time for my kids' birthdays. They are all in a row up until Christmas. So I needed to go through the toys that the kids do not play with. They always have those junk toys from the Kinder Joy eggs or McDonald's whenever they get it. So I wanted to go through and get rid of the toys that are eaten by my dogs, the toys they don't play with, and kind of donate those. And I also needed to go through my youngest son's clothes because he is now in 24 month 2T outfits, not 18 months. So his dresser needed it organized as well. And my biggest tip is to have a place for everything and get rid of what you don't need. I am in no way a minimalist. I love decor. I love things everywhere. However, I like an organized chaos mess, if that makes sense. So I wanted to get in here and pick up my son's closet because that's where he dumps all of the toy bins almost every day. It happens. No one sees his room, so I don't clean it every day. It probably gets a good cleaning once a week. Like I said, I rotate my rooms throughout the week and I do plan to have like maybe a weekly realistic cleaning routine up for you guys soon. It just depends on my scheduling with my college and my work schedule. But that's what I'm doing throughout these next few clips. Just watch me break it. Someone don't help you when someone don't help you through the rain when feelings don't matter and everything's nothing but a game game Just know that I'm with you Just know that I'm with you through it all and I'm 
gonna be there Whenever you win or if you fall So while I finish up putting away these clothes and vacuuming my son's rooms, I wanted to talk to you guys about my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I do plan to have this 1,000 subscriber giveaway over on Instagram and YouTube. So you have to be subscribed to my channel, obviously, and you have to comment below on my next video when it goes up. And then I will also have more terms and conditions over on Instagram. I really want to do it probably on Instagram just because it's easier, but I'm still looking in ways to do it in specific guidelines and make sure it's safe for everybody. And I know that I want to do a $25 gift card to probably Hobby Lobby or Starbucks or give you the option for whichever one you want, depending on what your needs are. But I will have more details in the next video. I just have been so busy and haven't had the time to really think it all out, but I will get that up in the next video. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit that alert bell and also go over to my Instagram as just at a cleaning affair, you know, same as here, same name over on Instagram and follow me over there. And that way all of the guidelines and everything will be up over there as well. I do not know yet which one I'm going to do. I, I promise you it's coming. I know I'm over a thousand subscribers now, but I really want to give back to my follows, my fellow subscribers because you guys have just been amazing. You guys have followed me along since literally the beginning and I cannot be more appreciative of you guys. So again, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you are following me on Instagram. I appreciate you guys so much. Too late to spread your wings. wings Oh, I know that we will make it through the storm Cause you and me been fighters since we were born It's all over, over our bodies and hearts Yeah, you and me been fighters right from the start I've been saying for a few videos now that we were going to actually be redoing my son's room. However, we just got everything ready. We are obviously on a budget. So I plan out when I'm going to do things and when I can get the paint and everything. So we are starting that project this week. I'm so excited to show you guys the end result. And I appreciate you guys kind of bearing with me throughout these projects because I have a ton of ideas, but we also move in a year. So I also need to remember that we are moving and not to put too much money into updating everything. But I definitely want to get my kids rooms done and get them more homey and then the master bedroom and then few little ones throughout the rest of the house. I want 
to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better What is everyone's favorite chore to do? Mine is absolutely vacuuming. I love to vacuum. It just means my house is clean if I get to the point of vacuuming. And I just love the way it feels on the carpets. And this vacuum is my favorite vacuum by far that I've ever owned. It's the Shark Apex Uplight. I always put links down below, but it's just amazing. And I just love it. I don't know what else to say, but we're going to move back downstairs and get everything vacuumed and mopped and I will be using the spin mop and I think I'm going to be using the Fabuloso this time. I'm thinking you were made for me It's not in my birthday yet Cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat baby Second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances they are nothing for us Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Things I love, love, love You could be the 
just finished using my Dyson to vacuum. I'm going to go in with my O Cedar Spin Mop. This is the dual dirty and water tank. They're separated. And I love this mop. However, my least favorite task is actually mopping because I feel like you go over the floor and then you go over the floor again. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like it takes a lot of time. I mean, it does work really well and it does get really clean and it leaves my house smelling really nice and fresh. And that's why I do suck it up sometimes and do it. I would just suggest setting apart 15 to 20 minutes to do it for my house. It really doesn't take that long to a vacuum and mop. I just think I think in my head, oh, why am I going over the floor once to go over it again? So I just suggest setting away 15 minutes a day, every other day. I don't mop every day. It's probably at least once a week, but it depends on how much my kids spill. And if you're a mom or a dad, you understand that so much, <laughs> but it's way better than cleaning the carpets. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I do not like cleaning the carpets as much as you would think, but it needs done. And I would also suggest looking at one of the, like the dual vacuum systems. I do have the Bissell Crosswave. I do like it. However, you really have to keep that tank clean or it can smell mildewy. But anyway, that's besides the point. That is perfect for a busy mom or dad on the go who needs to get something done in one fellow sweep and it's done and it's clean and you can check it off your checklist. But that is what we're doing here though. I chose to mop, like I said, and we're going to get that done. I love pulling out my broom for in my kitchen around my island because I feel like with a lip where the cabinets is, none of my vacuums or even my Bissell Crosswave can get close enough to the trim to get all of the food that falls down there. So I just really wanted to use my broom and clean this up. Does anybody else still use a broom in their house or am I the only one? I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much but it feels like the two of us are gold and they're gold You see, what do you got so take a chance, take a chance last thing I wanted to do was actually fold my microfiber towels. I love having these in my house. I use them everywhere. Normally in the bathrooms, I tend to use disinfectant wipes just because it's a bathroom, but the microfiber towels will save you so much money because you're not buying paper towels. You're not buying disinfectant wipes all the time. And these are just amazing for anyone who's busy and on the go. You can use them for different areas of your house and have them in those places. So that it's just easy to grab and go and you're not fighting to get things done or looking for your cleaning supplies. I always suggest having a few products in each different area. So in your kitchen for your living room and then my laundry room holds my dining room products and then my closet and my bathroom is obviously for my room and my bathroom and then upstairs I have cleaning products in the upstairs bathroom on the highest shelf because that's where my kids are and that's all great ways to kind of save time and save money even. Uh, just get you some good microfiber towels. You can get them from the Dollar Tree even, and it would be perfectly fine. But that brings us to the end of today's video. I appreciate you guys watching till the end, and I hope that if you are still here and you got tons of mom life cleaning motivation that you will hit that big red subscribe button because the next video on my channel will be an ultimate clean with me. It is going to be getting 
everything done and cleaning my whole house. So just make sure you do hit that subscribe button and set the alert bell to all so you don't miss any new content to come. And I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you back in my next video.